Things aren't exactly going according to plan at the Syria peace talks. So far, in fact, there have been no talks. Regime and opposition were supposed to have met face to face by now, but neither side can stomach being in the same room. A speech last night by the opposition leader was too much for the government. You all saw a direct confrontation between us and the criminals in Syria, he says. He's talking about the opening session of the conference. The UN's mediator, Lakdar Brahimi, with the regime side. The opposition won't meet them until they accept there will be a transfer of power, Geneva 1 as it's known. The Syrian foreign minister is threatening to go home if there's no meeting. The fact that we are here, it means that we accepted uh, some of what came in Geneva 1, because this is not a Bible or a Quran, you know. We came here with Syria and the Syrian people on our mind only. They came here with position and posts on their mind and with satisfying the interests of some parties who have nothing to do with Syria, who care nothing about the Syrian people. One very senior Western diplomat told me the objective today was simply to stop both sides from walking out. That's a very unambitious measure of success and shows how intractable the issues are. An agreement, something which would alleviate the suffering in Syria, seems further away than ever. So far, the talks seem irrelevant to events on the ground. This is Aleppo. The regime's made gains as the rebels turn on each other. It was hoped Geneva would bring a ceasefire here. But the combatants are pursuing their aims on the battlefield, not at the negotiating table.